Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, here we are with another old, older MacBook Pro, and this one is a 2006 MacBook Pro. It's the Core 2 Duo, and this thing is 18 years old, coming up on 20 years old for this. I got it for free. Uh, I had no battery, one gig of RAM, and the mechanical hard drive running Snow Leopard. So because I got it for free, I wanted to see what I could do with it. Um, and it's kind of interesting. So come along with me on this. Uh, the first thing I did was upgrade that RAM to four gigs, which is the most you can put in here, and got a new battery. I'll have a link down in the description to both of those. Doesn't cost that much and uh, installed without a problem. To replace the RAM, it's very easy. There's a door on the bottom. You take the screws out on that, take the cover off, pop the old RAM out, put the new RAM in, put the cover back in, put that new battery in, and you're good to go. So it's been working fine, uh, as fine as it can <laughs> since then, but this is an old computer and running Mac OS on here, even Lion, which is the latest version you can run on here, is not a great experience. So I'm gonna be doing a video later on installing Linux on here, and that is a much better experience. So if you wanna see that and you end up liking this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, so let's jump into this and see how this thing performs. Now, the first thing, I don't have the correct cables for the output on here because it's such an old um, computer for the, the video output. So I'm using the screen recording in Mac OS. Now this is an older computer, much slower Core 2 Duo processor. So hopefully this is gonna work, but if this screen recording is not the uh, quality that you're used to on this channel, I apologize for that, but I'm, I'm working with what I got. So. Uh, we go ahead and, and start that recording. And the first thing I wanted to mention is the web browser. The very first thing you have to do if you want any usability out of this thing is install a different browser. It comes with Safari, but the version of Safari that it comes with is so old that it's using the old SSL or HTTPS protocols which are not supported anymore. So if we do something as simple as try to go to apple.com, you can see it says Safari can't open the page. Um, it's because it's using HTTPS. It's using the newer protocols, which it should be, but this version of the browser does not support that. So it doesn't know how to deal with it. You're gonna run into that with almost every single site that you wanna visit because just about everything is using HTTPS and should be using those newer protocols, so Safari on this, uh, it doesn't work. It's, it's pretty much useless. So what you need to do is install a different browser. And I tried a few different ones. Some of them are not supported anymore because this thing is coming up on 20 years old. The software is not supported, but some of it is. Some people just wanna keep these things going. And one browser that I found, probably the one that works the best, is called Pale Moon. Now this is a free download. It's a little tricky to download it because the Pale Moon site itself uses HTTPS. So trying to get to it from Safari was a little tricky. I think I actually ended up uh, downloading it on another computer, throwing it on a USB and moving it over here. But once you download this and install it, it works great. It uses the newer protocol. So again, if we just try to go to apple.com, takes a minute here because it's slower Wi-Fi on it but you can see the site opens and we can view modern sites with this Pale Moon browser using Mac OS Lion. Uh, I don't think I ever showed the specs. Let's go in here. So you can see that it's Mac OS Lion 10.7.5. It's the 2.16 gigahertz core two duo processor. And I upgraded the RAM to four gigs of RAM. So, okay, so that is the first thing that you need to do if you're gonna get any usability out of this thing is upgrade the browser. Once you do that, everything else pretty much works except the App Store doesn't work. I tried a few things that I found online. I could not get this thing to connect to the App Store at all. I don't know if it's just, you know, the App Store itself uses newer protocols or it's uh, just using a different address or what, but I can't get to the App Store from Lion on this computer. Uh, but you can download applications and install them just fine as long as they're supported for, you know, this older operating system. Uh, Wi-Fi works just fine. Bluetooth works. Both of those are older and slower. 
So just keep that in mind. Uh, the ports work. Now I can't test out the FireWire port. I don't have any FireWire devices and I cannot test out the video out because I don't have the appropriate cables anymore. But uh, everything else works. The camera works. Let's go ahead and launch up Photo Booth here. So you can see the camera works. It's a little stuttery right now because I'm recording the screen, but honestly, on this computer, uh, the camera is not too bad, even for a 18 year old computer. The, the camera is actually probably better than some modern computers that I've used. So I was pretty surprised about that. Uh, the, honestly, there's not really too much more to say about this. You can do word processing and if you up upgrade the browser you can do some basic web browsing anything beyond that it's not really usable you're not going to be able to do music production or video production or anything like that on here uh, okay you probably could i'm sure there's people out there that are using these computers to do that let's just say it's not going to be very efficient and the level of that type of editing is going to be pretty limited on this machine because of you know the the age the architecture um, of the device. Other than that, it works and it, um, I guess it works well for what it is considering it's almost 20 years old. Now, like I said, Linux runs much better on this and I'm going to be doing a full video on that. So, um, again, subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell if you want to see that, but that will basically revive this machine and make it usable. Again, if you want to see the hardware that I use to upgrade this, I have a link down in the description. If you have any questions or any comments or anything you want me to test on this, please make sure you let me know down in the comment section below and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for stopping by and if you have one of these, let me know what you're using it for. I'll see you in the next video.